I lived in an apartment that was dubbed the No Hilly Mansion because it was a dump. In my life, I've only seen three apartments worse than that as a mover, you know. I don't know how people could live like that. But my father just doesn't clean and he doesn't care. So, place is a dump. Never, you know, never bought f new furniture, you know, whatever furniture we got, like it was a hand-me-down sofa from a neighbor who just got a new one, shit like that, mattress from someone else, whatever. I think the mattress was like freaking 20 years old when I was there, you know, when I was living there. Had freaking straw, and you could see like the straw freaking hanging down, you know? And, so, uh, in order to turn the light on, you needed a coat hanger, yeah, right? Because we had one of them uh, lights that were on the ceiling, you pull the string, and the string broke. And it broke a few times, and we tied something on it, then it was like this big, and then that eventually broke. So the, the coat hanger came into place. My father mangled the coat hanger around the light bulb. And you got a broom and you turned it on and then you turned it off. That that was it for the rest of our lives. Well, at that, in that place. Never fixed. My father couldn't ask the landlord to fix anything because he was always like two to four years behind in rent. Yeah, I know. You don't believe me, but I got testimonials, man. Uh... The, the faucets, the bathroom faucet and the kitchen faucet, you needed appliers to turn it on. Just nubs, little nubs. The pliers, turn the water on, turn the water on. Fucking sock to wash the dishes. The same fucking sock. He had the same sock there after I left. You know what I mean? I, I, like years after I left that apartment, he used that sock to clean his fucking dishes. So, uh, he used the same pliers to turn the water on for the pot for the bo for boiling water. Get the pliers go like this, pour the water in his coffee, go, watch your eyebrows! Every fucking time. And, uh, it was a mess. There was uh, holes in the wall. You could see the wooden laths going across in a lot of places. A coffee table. It was a dirty piece of sheetrock on top of a hamper. And uh, my father thought it was a waste of money to paint and fix up the place. And I was the opposite. I was embarrassed, you know. And there's a lot of stories to be told up in that apartment because I used to bring my friends up there a lot. Even though I was embarrassed because it was just a good place to hang out because my father was always at the bar. You know, so at least we could hang out. But I never knew when he was coming home. That was the problem. So sometimes we got caught. And the rule was, don't let anybody in the house. Don't let anybody see the house. When, when my aunts and uncles came by, they would ring the bell. And my father wouldn't answer it. Don't let me in the bell, don't ring the bell. And he'd go to the window and he'd wait. He'd wait 15 minutes till they came out. The bell just kept ringing and ringing. It was, hey, what are you doing, Jane? Uh, all right, I'll be right down. He wasn't letting anybody up to see this mess. Right? I was notorious for losing pens at school. I was in high school. I think I was going to McClancy at the time. And uh, I had to do my homework, and I didn't have a pen. And he was, he got pissed. And you fucking always lose all your pens. So, look under the bed. So we both go on our hands and knees. He's on one end, and I'm on the other, and I'm looking under the bed. And he lights a match. And he's looking. And then he walks away. The fucking thing just went up like huge. It was, I told you, it was like straw under there. Dad, the fucking bed's on fire. 
He comes in. He starts hitting the fucking thing. Go get water, go get water. I got, I'm getting little fucking pots of water. So then I, I saw the Dallas Cowboy little can they had for laundry, you put their laundry in. So I had that filling up in the tub while I was running in and out getting with pots of water. The fucking room is red, orange, yellow, you know, it was a fucking thing. And my father's hitting it. So we get the, the, get the can filled up, pour that on it. Still, you know, it was just too, it was too much already by that time. He grabs the mattress and gives it to me. Take this downstairs. What? Just fucking take it downstairs. <laughs> so I got this fucking mattress in flames. Not little flames, I'm telling you. This shit was up. And the box spring was worse. My father was attacking that. So I'm fucking going through the hall taking it down the fucking stairs and uh, my my super was coming up he goes, what the fuck? Goes, Pete, take this, please. I gotta help my father. So he took the fucking, I can't believe I remembered his name because I had a few zoopers. And uh, he took the, the mattress when I ran up to my father and my father's batting it down and I'm still feeding him water and we finally got it out. I remember him saying, I go, Dad, we got to leave. We got to get out of here. I can't fucking let, I can't leave. There's too many old fucking ladies in this building. Right? Yeah, so, you know, he has some good qualities. Right? And, uh, so here's the next thing. Now, his hands are burned. He had second degree burns on his, or third degree burns on his hands. From trying to put it out. And uh, Fryman come, and my father sticks his head out the window. It's okay, it's all right. No, we had to come up and check. No, no, no. He's too embarrassed to let them fucking come up and look at the place. No, 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 no. Come up, it's out. And they come up. Now, I used to smoke in my room without my father's knowledge. He didn't know I was smoking at this time. And like I told you, uh, you know, uh, you'll see in, in the photos that I put up. I had ho ho uh, holes in the wall with wooden lanes going across. So I thought I was slick, you know, I was slick. I used to smoke in the room and blow the smoke in the, in the wall, inside the wall. And I would keep the cigarette in between the two wooden lathes so the smoke would go in the wall and so if he came any goods out. And then I would put the fucking cigarette out on the wooden thing and then just drop the butts. I don't know, for like two years. I just dropped them. So when the firemen came, they saw the hole with the wooden slats and big black mark on the, on the wood because I put it out for like two years worth. So the little spot was all big and black. And about 200 cigarette butts on the floor. So the fireman said, oh shit, it was started by a cigarette. And I went, oh, no, it wasn't. And I had to explain to him what happened. And then, I don't even think I got in trouble at that time because you know, there was too much commotion and everything. So that was it. My father went to the hospital and he healed pretty fast. And then, uh, Next week, the flood. So a week later, we were eating breakfast, and I was complaining about my grade on a term paper I got, and I and I was reading the term paper to my father. I was proud of it. I couldn't believe I got a C plus. I thought it was going to be an A. And the next thing you know, my super is at the window banging. I'm like, what the fuck is he doing here? Come on, you fucking got the water flowing. I forgot the freaking bathtub. I'm reading this freaking term paper while the bathtub is on. And we didn't have an overflow. It destroyed the guy's apartment downstairs. 
he was pissed. Because I always made a lot of noise over him anyway, but now this, like, he moved. This guy, I moved after this because of me and my friends up there partying all the time. But that flood ruined all his books and everything. So Tony Radical said, hey, did you hear about No Hillary? He had a fire, and then a week later he tried to put it out. 